Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and uh, back to our TypeScript series. In the last session, we have talked about functions and what do you mean by uh, arrow functions and uh, different varieties of functions we have uh, seen here. Today, we are going to talk about uh, two small things. What do you mean by option parameters of a function and the default parameters of a function? And this is an amazing support available in uh, TypeScript that you can pass option parameters also and uh, the default parameters as well. So what exactly I'm going to do that I'm going to create, let's see, a one parameters dot ps file here. So optional parameters means sometimes let's see, there are some parameters that we generally supply to the or argument we supply to the function parameters. But what if I don't want to pass it? So that is called the optional uh, parameters. For example, let's say if I'm going to create a function here, that function uh, get info information function, something like this. And this information function is, let's see, I'm having uh, two variables here. One is the, let's see, that you have to give me the first name of uh, string comma. And then I'm writing that you have to give me the age number as well, okay? And this function says that, that I'm just going to return something. So let's say I'm going to return a string from this function. And then I'm going to uh, write whatever the first name and the age that you're writing. I'm just combining them together and printing it. Okay. So I simple say that, okay, yeah, whatever the first name plus with some space, then plus age that you have to return here. Right. So when I call this, let's see, get information function that I'm calling it. And let's see the name that I'm passing here. Let's see Tom, right? But second age parameter, if I'm not passing, it's giving me the error here because now uh, here this function is expecting two parameters. One is the first name and the age. So obviously when you call it, you have to supply the two arguments here, like two values here. So if I say Tom comma 30, now the error is gone. But if one of them, if I remove it, it will start giving you error here. And it's giving me that um, expected two arguments, but we got one. So now let's see if I want to make this age as a optional parameter, then what you can do, you can simply put a question mark here and that's it. And now you can see the error is gone from here. So this is age and the question mark. So age will be the optional parameter here. And this is the mandatory parameter that we have to supply here. So see, I'm calling this and then this is giving me something. So I'm just are directly printing with the console.log and then let's see what is the output of this. So optional, whatever the number optional that we are passing and whatever the default value of the age that will be printed on the console. But from our side, we are not passing anything from here. So let's do one thing. Let's compile this and then uh, we will run it with the node. So let's run it that parameters.js and you can say Tom and undefined because number is not defined here. But at the same time, if I'm, let's see, passing, calling it one more time, and then I'm passing 30 here. Now, 30 will be given to number, and then it will be printing 30. So Tom and 30 will be printed if I run it again. So Tom and 30. So it's up to you. You really want to create optional parameter or not, you can create. Now let's talk about the default parameters also. This is also uh, a very good implementation in the TypeScript that you can provide the default parameters in a function. For example, let's say I'm going to create a function and uh, the function name is, let's see, I'll write that, okay, let's see, set details function that I'm going to write it here, right? And then I'm providing one parameter here that is, uh, let's see, a name parameter that will be the string type. And then I'm writing a message that will be uh, another string type. And then I'm giving a default value here that it should be, let's see, welcome here. And I'm expecting that this method should return a string. And then I'm writing that return whatever the message is there. So see, I'm writing that message plus and the name here. Okay. And along with some uh, concatenation with the space here like that. Okay. So this is the function. If you notice that this function is having two parameters, name and the message. Both are a string type, for example, and but the message default value is welcome. It means when you call this function and if you don't supply the message argument also, 
any value to the message parameter, then in that case, by default, it will take welcome from here. So let's say I'm going to call this particular set details and uh, I'm calling it, let's see, name is a uh, Naveen and then see, I'm not passing it anything here. It's not giving me any error. So by default, it will take welcome from here. So when I get some return, let's see, I'm just uh, printing here, here with the set details and uh, let's run it. So first I'm going to compile it and uh, run it again. So run it with the node and here you can see welcome Naveen. See, I'm passing only Naveen. So by default, it will take welcome from here. Message is equal to welcome and name is equal to Naveen. But if you really want to supply, then the preference will be given that what exactly you are supplying. So let's say I'm passing Naveen, but here I'm saying that, okay, no, I don't want welcome. I want hello from here. So in that case, hello Naveen will be printed. So let's compile it again and then uh, let's run it. So here you can say that, okay, hello Naveen is coming from here, right? So let's see, for example, if you are passing or let's see you're passing some undefined value as well. So for example, let's see what exactly I'm going to do that. I'm saying the name is uh, Naveen once again. And then here I'm saying that undefined. So that also you can do it. So undefined will be uh, given to message. But remember this thing, the default value, the welcome will be preferable as compared to undefined. It means it will always take the preference with the welcome, whatever the message, the default value that you have written here. So it will not give you that undefined Naveen. It will give you welcome Naveen. Okay. So let's uh, quickly run it and let's compile it and then run it again. So here you can say that welcome Naveen. Okay. So if you don't have anything to pass, you can just make it blank. If you have something to pass, you can make it. If you really want to pass undefined, undefined will be ignored and it will take the default value from here. Okay. So sometimes this, uh, this feature is really important when you have number of arguments and then while calling the function that you don't want to supply that particular argument, then you can go with the optional parameters or some default value. If you really want to take it, you can define some uh, default arguments also or parameters also here. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much.